Hey there, it's the 8th of September 2020 and we're focusing on the US again because the fires are continuing to burn and particularly I think in this video we're going to focus on Oregon because these fires look particularly seriously rapidly spreading towards the west. zoomed into Oregon to look at the fire temperatures from SARA. These are from the GOES-17, GOES West satellite. And you can see the main heat signatures of three mega fires that are burning in this region. And if you look, you can see them spreading out towards the west. They are rapidly spreading in those winds as expected. They're moving off towards the west. There are also small signatures in these regions, which should be kept an eye on. And the time in Oregon at the moment is 1.40 a.m. It's a bit difficult from the Syra goes view to actually tell the exact locations of the fires. And this fire picked up from almost nothing. It wasn't even in the signature at the beginning. And then these two expanded. If we go to the left, you can see an earlier view during the day. And you can see the main fire, biggest fire here, although it looks like this one grew so rapidly but it may have even become even bigger than that one. But taking those two points and going roughly down here, we get to where the third fire is, and we're just going to have to approximate it. But the advantage is that with this image, we can actually download this and put it into Google Earth so we can see the locations better. So I'm going to do that now. In fact, I'll show you how to do it too, because it's pretty simple. If you just Google search for NASA Worldview, you'll get this and you'll uh, be able to uh, find some tutorials on this channel about how to use it in more depth. But basically, if you select the camera icon and extend your domains that you're given, and then on the drop-down menu, select KMZ for Google Earth. And I think that, uh, let's see the size, 34 megabytes. Ah, let's go for a 250 meters resolution. Once you've got your KMZ, you just double click it and Google Earth will open if you've got Google Earth installed. So now we've got the Google Earth malarkey done. Let's pause this animation there. And we've got our three fires, and this is earlier. So what you can do is approximate the location of the third one. I'm going to go for about here bugger, and add a place mark roughly where you think it is it's just to give a very rough idea it's obviously somewhere down here but with that done this third fire is very approximate in location uh, but the other ones are essentially they will have expanded towards the west since and continuing to do so overnight so places like Mill City we get an idea as to the areas that are more prone to threat. The fuel is probably mainly in the green where the forest is. If you've got your fire anomalies downloaded off Worldview, then actually you can just remove the verse from the top. Sorry, this is getting a bit complex, but that will actually reveal the fire signatures and our rough location of the third fire. And that reveals that this first big fire was on the eastern side of Mount Jefferson. I did not know that. And the other one over here is now spreading into this region. Basically north of Gates Mill and Mill City into this area. So there you go. A short look at how to bring in the heat signatures into Google Earth. And this was not the way I intended this video to go, but there you go. I guess it's more of a tutorial now. That's just the way things are. I've run out of time, so I wish everyone in Oregon and elsewhere in the U.S. that are having to deal with these fires the very best of luck with this. And hopefully the conditions will change. And I will try and check the forecast in future videos to see when this is all going to end. <laughs> 